How's it going guys, I'm Vivi and welcome back to another video which has to do with the Sly Cooper movie. Now, I've been wondering these past couple of days, who will direct the Sly Cooper movie? Yes, of course Kevin Monroe is going to direct the movie, he directed Ratchet and Clank, right? But he kinda left this interesting reply on Instagram, and I feel like something's up. Now I will get to that shortly, but before I do so, I'd quickly like to summarize what's going on with the movie. And guys, again, I do not mean to sound repetitive, I'm simply doing this since, you know, new people might find this information very useful. So the Sly Cooper movie, what is going on with this movie? We got a trailer in 2014, right? The thing is, Rainmaker confirmed back in September and even before that, that the movie is in the development process. It is not in production, do not confuse the two. Voice casting is not official. The trailer is just a concept. And for those of you who don't know, apparently Rainmaker is receiving a bunch of emails by fans regularly. And they are still interested with the Sly Cooper series. So for those of you who got a bit worried, hey, they're no longer interested, what's going on? Don't worry, they're still thinking about it. Okay guys, so about this whole Kevin Monroe situation, someone left a reply on Instagram talking about the status of the movie. You know, about whether or not Kevin Monroe was still working on the film. Here's his reply. Ha, nope. Always said, if I ever got to make that film, I'd be squealing about it here first. Okay, so it seems like Monroe hasn't been contacted yet. He hasn't been contacted for a while, actually. He had left this tweet on May 12th, 2016, talking about the draft. We only have a draft now, we still don't have a final draft, guys. If a movie is in production, that means they have a final script. That's not the case for the Sly Cooper movie. So to summarize what we know, we only have a draft, and the movie is in the development process. Okay, around the the ending of October, a merge with Frederator Networks was announced. I actually talked about this in a video. If you want to check it out, go ahead. So here's what I think. Two things could be happening right now. One, which is the obvious, they're taking their time with the movie. They're in the ideas phase. They're trying to come up with new strategies and stuff like that. Reason number two, this whole merge with Frederator Networks is causing yet another delay. But come to think of it, this delay with Frederator is for the best. We're talking about a higher budget. We're talking talking about a bigger team, we're talking about hiring a bunch of new people. Think about what this could do to the Sly Cooper movie. Of course, technically speaking, having too many brains working on a film is kind of difficult. Some people will agree on the idea, a bunch of people will not, and there's going to be a lot of arguments going on, you know. Now what if there's another reason behind this whole delay and lack of news? Are they planning on switching directors? I mean, judging by his reply, if I ever got to make the film, I don't know, it's just Something's up, what is he implying? Now the thing is, if they switch directors, Monroe would mention it straight up, right? But what if they are switching? It hasn't been confirmed guys, okay? But I don't know, I feel like something is up. There seems to be this very interesting discussion going on on the Amino app on this subject. Some believe that Kevin Monroe understands Sly, and I agree, I'll explain later. Some believe that they should just switch companies. Raymaker, pfft, who needs Raymaker, right? <laughs> Imagine Disney working on Sly Cooper, Sly starts singing, that would be hilarious. Anyway. Some actually believe it's the right choice to switch directors. Cause you know what happened to the Ratchet and Clank film, right? But anyways, here's my opinion on this whole situation. Does Monroe really understand the Sly Cooper series? Of course, if the right amount of research is done. Sanzaru and Sly 4, for example, I know we're not talking about a movie, but it's a pretty good example. Sly 4 is not everyone's favorite, okay, we get that. But it did feel like a Sly game, and I absolutely loved it. Sanzaru did a good amount of research and they brought us another sequel. Of course, it hasn't sold that much compared to the other games. Like I said before, the huge release gap played a large role in this. Some believe that Ratchet and Clank ultimately flopped due to bad writing, aka the director. I've read comments like TJ Fixman could have done a better job, yada yada yada. There's actually a whole story about that. TJ Fixman, he wrote a draft apparently and then Swallow and Monroe worked on the rest. TJ Fixman didn't want to get the credit and stuff like that, I talked about this a long time ago, but yeah, there was a discussion going on back then. Honestly guys, I do believe that Monroe has a passion for the Sly series, and I'm sure he can deliver. But dude, look what happened to the Ratchet and Clank film. Why should Monroe direct the movie? Well look guys, there's a bunch of Ratchet and Clank film reviews, right? He's gonna read those and think a little, and he will try something different. Something that will be very appealing to not only fans, but casual viewers as well. Now Kevin Monroe also directed the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie back in 2007, while well, the movie got released in 2007, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that Monroe is a 
the bad director. This isn't the point of the video. But there's a lot of mixed feelings about that movie. And when people knew that the same director who worked on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles directed Ratchet and Clank, they immediately blamed the director. Oh yeah, this dude worked on that movie, apparently it flopped, he worked on Ratchet and Clank, what a surprise, the movie failed. For sure, if you study a lot and learn the material, you can deliver. But Raymaker might perhaps be thinking differently these days. Perhaps they actually are thinking of switching directors. Monroe has no idea what's going on, he's still waiting for that phone call. Oh, and for those of you who didn't know, Monroe is currently busy with a Trolls movie for the Chinese market. So maybe that could also kinda explain his reply, I guess? Like, he's pretty much busy at this point. But honestly guys, at this point, I am so confused. They're merging with Frederator, okay. They haven't updated on that yet. They haven't mentioned anything on their Facebook page. I just don't know. And I'm trying my best to update you guys. And to be honest, Sly Cooper compared to Ratchet and Clank, Sly, it's easier to work with. The story, I believe, is easier to put on the big screen. And I think it might be a lot more appealing. So anyways guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. Nothing's been confirmed, right? But if they ever do decide to switch directors. Who do you think would be a right choice? Anyways guys, leave all of your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Vivi and I hope that you guys found this video useful. Thanks for watching and until next time.